When an airplane crashes, maintenance crews strive to recover the aircraft without causing further damage. Maintenance crew chiefs with specialized training carry out the recovery effort. With the crash team, their job basically is to, is to pick up the, you know, the wreckage afterward or salvage the airplane if possible and to try to preserve evidence for the Safety Investigation Board to determine the cause of the accident. The Air National Guard Readiness Center sponsors the only crashed, damaged, and disabled aircraft recovery course that provides this specialized training. This class and the, the knowledge they get back home and the, and the requirements that they have to meet um, should give them the knowledge they need and the experience they need. So if something that does happen, an incident happens where a plane goes off the runway or crashes and they have to recover it, um, they can do that. They train on out-of-service aircraft from the Boneyard at Davis Mothan Air Force Base. In three days, teams rotate between several exercises that vary from simple to complex. At the composite recovery course, students demonstrate how they would wear protective gear, use a rescue saw, mark hazards, and wrap and remove wreckage. If the plane skids off the runway and one or more wheels become stuck, crews must unstick or debog the plane. Instructors empower a designated student team leader to decide how to get it moving again. They refer to their technical orders to determine what equipment could work and where it should go. At the end when they feel like, okay, we're ready, we would tow, we stop them, group them up together and talk about what they did. And if they had mistakes on how they set up their straps or whatnot, we correct it then and then we make them go back before we allow them to actually pull the aircraft. So we've seen it set up many different ways and it just kind of depends what the team lead feels is how they want to do it because there's multiple different ways to do it correctly and safely. As teams rotate, new leaders take charge. No, we're going to lift it straight up, pull the truck out and lay it straight on the ground. I want Sergeant Lopez, Sergeant Morales, and uh, you. In a crane lift exercise, they use hand signals to communicate with the crane operator and then properly secure a fighter for transport. A front wheel failure on a larger aircraft requires a sling that distributes weight evenly. Placing straps in the wrong spot could cause further damage to the fuselage. Moving an extremely large disabled heavy requires an aircraft movement system. Lifting 100,000 pounds with just 7 pounds per square inch of pressure was the responsibility of a partner nation participant. I was pretty nervous, but we learned very much more when we were team leader yeah, than uh, just uh, a guy who walked around the aircraft. But that was a very good experience. Slow down a bit. We give them some guidance and lead them, and then we ask questions you know, to Right. To get them to think and, and, and to see how much information they're retaining. But the main objective is them to come out here and get this hand-on practical experience. They calculate requirements. What's our contact pressure on a fuselage? Set up cribbing and consoles. And then inflate airbags until all wheels clear the ground. It's, it's an incredible course. It's, you got big aircraft and you got a lots of tools to walk with and that's very good. What we want them to do is when they come out here, is we want them to, uh, to try to make it as a real scenario as possible um, to where they can take back this information and this knowledge and experience that they have here and then go back to their bases and they can spread that knowledge back to their, uh, their units. I've never been involved in a crash, um, so cross your fingers it doesn't happen, but um, it's certainly a good experience that I can take home and, uh, and teach the folks that I have in my and my crash recovery crew. We got any questions? This hands-on course provides vital skills to handle a rare but serious incident. You got three main goals of crash recovery. The first one is get your runway open back up, especially when you're downrange. If you got the only runway in the area, you've got to get it open back up so you can continue flying. The second one is to try and preserve the uh, accident investigation. Of course, you know when an airplane crashes, a lot of times they want to know why and they want to be able to find that information. And then the third one is to prevent secondary damage to the aircraft. A properly recovered aircraft can be salvaged for parts or even returned to service. Reporting from Tucson, Arizona, I'm Tech Sergeant Marcy Mascaro.